Hello. It's 1128 on Thursday. We are in the month of July and uh, I'm gonna do a little cooking demo today and show you 905 Western Avenue, apartment 102. <clears throat> We're just gonna wait about two minutes and get going. Um, the sellers are in the hallway. Um, and uh, I'm gonna make them some lunch. I have a feeling there might be a chilled Chablis with our shrimp rolls for lunch. Ding, 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 ding. That's not the right thing. It's like ding, ding, ding. No, it's on Jeopardy when they're trying to think of what the answer is. Um, I don't know. Anyway. 11.28. We are about to go live. 11.28. That's, uh, that's going to be your lunch today. Hello, Brett. I think it's hotter in New York City than it is in Miami right now. It is hot. Yesterday I got home. I know this is way too much information. I had a slack, you know, I had slacks on and socks and a shirt and tie. Hi, Richard. Um, and got home at like 6.30 and I looked at my wife and I was like, I gotta get out of this clo these clothes because I was just drenched. Once again, I know that was too much information. But it was busy yesterday and it's busy today. It's busy, been busy all week. So thank God in phase three of New York City. Um, one more minute and we go live. I know we are live, but one more minute and we go live. How's everyone doing? I just was alerted that our countdown, this just in on Instagram, has just ended, meaning that it is showtime. It's showtime. All right, so um, we are on the Upper West Side right now at 905 West End Avenue, um, apartment 102, which is on the 10th floor, it is a classic seven. Um, Three full bedrooms, three full baths. It is gigantic. The flow is beautiful. The kitchen is beautiful. Eat-in kitchen. And then there is a maid's room, staff room, office room um, with a full bath as well, which is great. So let's start to take a little bit of a walk. And I will show you the apartment. So here on the left, as soon as you walk in to the apartment, you have a small um, office or guest room, um, whatever you'd like, with a full bath. Really beautiful tile. I believe it's artistic tile. Um, and then really nice closet. These guys are really organized. So the foyer is lovely. Oh, by the way, the roof deck in this building is one of the nicest roof decks I've seen in the city, especially on the Upper West Side. And you are minutes away from Riverside Park and minutes away from the subway stop as well, the local. Um, a big coat closet. So let's take a walk into the apartment. And to the right facing West End is a huge living room. Nice, right? Um, really beautiful living room. I am absolutely in love with this couch. And facing out onto West End, so you're gonna get really nice light throughout the day. Uh, that's me, hi. Um, and then you have another big TV area, dining area, again, windows that face out onto West End Avenue. And then I'm gonna backtrack and go into the kitchen real fast and then I'll show you the bedrooms. So the kitchen has a really nice, lovely eating area. Um, a little area for storage. That's all my stuff to make lunch for today. And then two stoves, one dishwasher, and one wine cooler. When we did the original um, description, we said there were actually two um, dishwashers. We didn't realize that that was the original setup, but when these folks bought the apartment, they wanted a wine cooler instead of a dishwasher. Um, stove, microwave, beautiful cabinets. Okay, more cabinets, sub-zero fridge. I mean, <clears throat> it's a class act. Hi, Kate Bollinger. All right, so we're walking into the back. So <clears throat> let's say you are a large family or a, you know, a couple. You know, it doesn't matter what you are, but if you're entertaining, you can close this door, and now everything 
is in the front, all you're entertaining, and the kids or your mother-in-law or your father-in-law or whoever are away from you and sleeping. All right, so third bedroom is right here. Um, you have a big closet here, really nice closet. Very, very organized. Clearly, um, my Mr. Seller likes baseball hats, clearly, and so do I. So out of this window, you have a really nice view of the Hudson River. Looks like they're doing some work over there on the roof, but there's really nice, really nice um, western facing. You can see New Jersey. That's where I'm from originally. Hi, Gene Fody. Um, the bathroom is gorgeous. Stand-up shower. Really, really pretty. And then your second bath, actually your third bath, is really stunning. Um, take a look at that. Look at that tile work. Really pretty. Um, the next bedroom, oops, sorry. There is your Mealy, uh, I was going to say dishwasher, but that would be wrong. Washer dryer, um, which is lovely. And then, hi, Heather Burns. Um, and then a big closet here. Big closet. Very organized. I don't think I've had an organized closet like that in years. And next bedroom is here and then finally your third bedroom but remember there's a staff room that could be your fourth bedroom is here with two big closets um, and really really cool so and more views of the Hudson River big closet here utilities um, hello and more space here. So it is, it is a really, really big apartment. Um, the doormen are amazing. The super is amazing. And um, uh, the roof deck is a must-see. So I can't wait for you guys to see this in person. Um, we are making this listing live in the next, like, 24 hours. The video is spectacular. Um, you'll take a look at the video first, and then, um, you know, we'll get you in here. All right, I'm going to put my phone onto my tripod, and we're gonna start shooting lunch. So hold on. All right. Give me a second, guys. It's a little dark. I don't know why it's dark. Oh, there we go. All right, so I personally do not like lobster. Um, one second. I don't know why it's so dark, but okay. Um, I personally don't like, hold on one second guys, it's not making me happy. Oh, oh, there we are. One sec. Oops. All right, so I am not a big fan of lobster, but my wife loves lobster. Um, and literally for the entire summer so far, the month of June, um, and a little bit of July, I've been making lobster rolls and lobster rolls and lobster rolls. And quite honestly, I want to make something that I like. So, and there's a reason why I don't love lobsters. One is I'm the one that has to cook them. I'm the one that has to clean them. I'm the one that has to prepare the, the food. And, you know, when you crack lobster, like the juice flies all over you. And it's just, I don't know. All right, so what we're going to do today is make an alternative to lobster rolls, which are shrimp rolls. So we need shrimp. For about four people, you need a pound, about a pound of cleaned and peeled shrimp. And you see about, it's all about the presentation. Chopped parsley, chopped celery, very fine. What you wanna use is the inside parts of the celery plus the little green parts, which, has, which gives real good sweetness. A little bit of dill, pepper, a um, pink Himalayan sea salt that's in a pepper mill, mayonnaise, and then the secret to any kind of roll, whether it's a lobster roll or a shrimp roll, is your bread. Your bread, what we use is Hawaiian um, bread that is perfect for lobster rolls and shrimp rolls. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my pepper and real fast I'm gonna go turn on the stove. Hold on guys. I'm still here, I'm still standing, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so what I'm doing is I am heating up a saute pan and I'm gonna saute the, um, the shrimp. Hold on, I'm not really used to this, so. All right, so I'm gonna saute the shrimp. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take a bowl and put the celery inside. And I'm gonna put the dill inside and the parsley. And then I'm going to take some handy dandy mayonnaise. By the way, mayonnaise and me are not our favorites, but I'm gonna put some mayonnaise in here. I would say about uh, four ounces, maybe five. And that's that. And then what I'm gonna do is take some uh, fresh lemon and I'm gonna squeeze that into, the, um, into that mixture. So remember, you always wanna take your lemons if you have them room temperature, you're gonna get more juice out of them. And then what you wanna do is roll the lemon before you take the sides off on a cutting board, which will give you more juice. And then I'm gonna slice that in half, and I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice into the bowl. All right, lemon juice is in the bowl. That lemon is in the garbage. And now I'm gonna see how the shrimp, or the pan is doing for the shrimp that I can saute them in. All right, I'm gonna wait just another second and then I'm going to saute the shrimp. And in the meantime, I'm going to mix the mayonnaise mixture with the celery and dill and lemon juice. And it's a really nice consistency. See how that looks? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna saute off the shrimp now. <clears throat> you hear the sizzle? <clears throat> All right, so one thing that's really important is as you cook is to stay clean and neat. Otherwise, it'll be a disaster and your spouse or your partner or your dog or your cat will not like you. So I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper into the mix and a little bit of more salt. <clears throat> I'm gonna flip the shrimp now. If anybody has any questions, please type them below. And if I don't see them while I'm cooking, I'm certainly happy to answer them. Um, you know, once we're once I'm done with the video. So one of the secrets to cooking shellfish and seafood, it's a huge secret, is don't overcook the fish. Don't overcook the shellfish. If you undercook everything, it'll be much much better, and flavorful and more tender. So I'm going to let the shrimp cool down a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Hawaiian bread and I'm going to put that on a square saute pan, which looks like this. And we're going to toast the bread real quickly. So. This kitchen is awesome. So, so I'm toasting about um, eight worth eight sandwiches for the for the um, for my my people that own the apartment, which is exciting. That's going to be our serving platter. My wife made the um, the floral arrangement. Now, what I'm going to do is see how the shrimp are like this. I'm going to just take them. Whoa! I just lost one on the ground. I promise I will not um, have anyone eat that. Oh my God, they look so good. I'm toasting the bread, which is gonna be really nice. And then I'm gonna cut all these shrimp up 
and add them to the mixture. And what's nice is that the shrimp still are warm, so it'll give a nice, uh, you know, it's going to have a nice feel to it in the sandwiches. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the mixture. There you have it. And then that's just going to go in the sandwiches. So um, I'm going to start to put those together and throw this in the sink and I'm sure that when they see the mess that I've made in the kitchen, they're going to have a heart attack, but we can deal with that because I can help clean up. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my pot holder. Okay, so the bread is nice and toasty, and I'm going to show you in a second. Perfect, I might say perfectly toasted. And then basically what you're going to do, okay, so here is the toasted bread looks yummy and really all you're going to do is just put a little bit of shrimp in each one fold it over and that's your sandwich let me taste really really good um oh my god that's so good so Sorry. If you have any questions about 905 West End Avenue, apartment 102, remember it's on the 10th floor, not the first floor. Let me know, I'd love to show it to you. Um, if you have questions about food, I'm happy to talk to you about that too. Oh my God, I wanna eat like 10 of these. And that's it, so 917-860-1462. 917-860-1462. Have a great week and come by this apartment, bye.